Hello everyone, my name is Gibran and today I am going to show you the demonstration of brute force attack. Okay. So, this is actually based on detection of brute force because we are going to attack brute force after attacking this uh, OWASP DVW or DAM vulnerable web application. So, and for that we are going to use a forensic tool called Wireshark for the detection purpose. So, on the screen right now you can see my virtual box is on and you can see the, these are the machines I have and you can see the OWASP is running and Kali is running so <coughs> let me show you my Kali this is the Kali virtual machine I have on okay so this is Kali okay. Okay. so this is Kali and on the other side this is OWASP and I am going to first check the IP address of the machine by using command ifconfig so yeah you can see inet address here 10.0.2.6 so I am going to use this IP address and I am going to put this IP address in the browser of Kali let me go into Kali and open the browser okay, so we can see 10.0.2.6 here and uh, so yeah so as you can see I am redirected to OWASP BWA OWASP Broken Web Applications Project so here I am going to open DVWA this is damn vulnerable web application you can see guys so I am going to click on this yeah so here this is the main page of DVWA which is which, which has two fields that is username and password so I am going to attack on both of them at the same time on username as well as on password. So first of all, I show the password field. No, I show the username field first. So it's this input class login input. Type is text. So same is with the password field. So yeah, you can see the type is password here. Size is twenty. So it's also input type is text. So guys, let me <coughs> just so here for the brute forcing. For the brute forcing, we'll use a tool which is a built-in tool. It's called Hydra. So Hydra gets so Hydra gets the uh, Hydra gets combination of words using. So we'll just first of all create. Uh, I'll show you. I have created the word list using Crunch tool. So Crunch is a tool in Kali. Okay, Crunch. Let me open the terminal first. So I will show you what is Crunch. Crunch is a tool in Kali which is used for create word lists. So actually, I have created the word lists. I will show you the file system. You can see these are the files. .txt. So the these these are the word list files. Okay. So let me go back to my terminal, and I will also use Hydra to I will also show you Hydra. It is Hydra. So I will use Hydra for brute forcing. Okay. So here the brute I am going to brute force on this login.php. This is based on HTTP Hyper Text Transfer Protocol. So I'm going to attack HTTP. So here, so let's go to terminal and let's just show it this. df.txt because df is the name of a text file that which I have created through crunch tool yeah which I have created through crunch tool so I am going to give this as http form post tvw as you know this is the url given login.php as you know this you can see here here you can see guys yeah so yeah this is the username field as I shown earlier to you guys and this is Login. This is pass. This is a pass. So this is login submit. Okay. So here I'm passing this df df dot text and p and, and for the password field I'm just passing df dot text again. I will show you the the word list I have created. You can see guys. These are all the word list I have I just created. These are the five alphabet word list I just created. Possible word through the crunch tool. These are all. Got it, guys. Yeah. So let me just just 
okay so on the other side we also have to capture the packets because we are going to detect this attack we are going to detect brute force so for the detection we are going to use wireshark tool so you can see this okay so before i'm going to start the attack i'm going to analyze the traffic okay yeah here yeah, there's nothing going on right now so then i'm going to yeah this is the hydra command that that, that i'm given this is the ip this is the url i'm giving so i will enter okay so yeah guys as you can see brute force we have brute forces successfully and we have got the host username and we have got this is the login this is the host as you know guys 10.0.2.6 and this is the login that's admin and password that's admin so it's showing one of one targets actually completed so one valid password found so this is how brute forcing is work. this is how brute forcing works using hydra tool so let me just zoom in for you guys yeah so this this guys you can see this thing login is admin and password is admin guys so now on the other side we'll just check yeah this is the Vaisha. you can see we have got a lot of packets here Vaisha. now how can we detect the attack happen the machine was under attack so as our detection based on http hypertext transfer protocol so we'll filter it by using http request so we'll enter. yeah so you can see now guys you can see here 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 you can see you can see the source was this 10.0.0 this and destination as you know 10.0.2.6 as you know this is the destination here we're going to attack this this part 10.0.2.6 was our destination so guys you can see yeah so this destination was this so suppose protocol is http so here we are getting the method was used in get as you know there are two types of methods get and post method in case of http protocol okay so first of all we are just getting so this is dww login so it has tried so these are all the tries so you can see how you know, how we can how we come to know that the machine was under attack and it was not a human it was performed by a machine because brute forcing is a very fast it's a hit and trial trial method so the thing is you, you can check the time time stamps two point uh, this is twelve point two four six four again this twelve point two four six six so the difference is not a fraction of second it's it's around milliseconds the difference is milliseconds only so at at this point we just come to that the machine is under attack and the thing is it's attacked by a machine and the attack is brute force because we can see from the packets from this source destination the timestamp is there is there is not a difference of milliseconds between two packets yeah between two attempts these are actually two attempts whereas getting getting the username yeah the same thing happened for post method yeah this is this is same thing for the post method you can see for this we'll just analyze this packet here we can get the hypertext also we can get all the details regarding regarding brute forcing http okay we can get yeah, all the details you can see here these are all the tries that is shown these are all brute forcing tries. Yeah. So here it has it actually got the username which is actually admin. Yeah, which is actually admin. So guys, we have successfully attacked the machine. We have successfully attacked the DVWA, actually the web page of DVWA using brute forcing technique and the tool was used and the tool used was Hydra and uh, another another tool that used to create a word is, is the touch tool and for detection we have used a wireshark so this was all about this brute force technique and uh, brute force detection guys so guys uh thank you